so today I'm going to talk about a new tool I've been working on called Pred AI, um, which is an integration of Neural Profit, which is a um, an AI based um, predictor for looking at future values of series. So <clears throat> the idea with this Pred AI integration is you add it to Home Assistant and you can tie it to what's currently supported as numerical sensors of some sort and then it will project them forwards and give you predicted future values that you can use in other scripting um, in various different ways so the, the this is actually um, home assistant add-on um, there's some documentation here that explains how to install it it's relatively simple um, obviously it might be a problem for those of you guys who've got um running systems in Docker where you can't use add-ons. Um, <clears throat> at the moment, yeah, this works on the normal Home Assistant. It does take quite a long time to install, 15 to 20 minutes it can do in some cases. Um, so just bear with it. It's because it has to build the whole of like Neural Profit and PY Torch and everything like that. Once it's running, it's an, it's an add-on and you'll get this add-on configs directory um, for it, um, which you can then edit the Pred AI YAML there's a template there and you have to fill them in and then restart the add-on for it to reread the YAML um, and check the log for any errors. So what I've done here is I've set it to a sensor, which is my um, total energy consumed today in my house coming from my you know, give energy inverter, but this could be any numerical sensor. I've asked it to subtract from that the energy that's gone to my car because I'm wanting to um, not count for car charging energy in that. And then I've said to go back 14 days. And I've said the sensor's incrementing and resets daily. And I'm gonna use 30 minute intervals and the units of the output is kilowatt hours. And what this will do then is it will create a, um, another sensor with the name underscore prediction on it, which gives you the future values for this based on the prediction. I set up another example here where I've taken external temperature, which is coming from one of the weather add-ons. Um, and then I've done the same thing. It's not incrementing, it's just values and it's in degree C. Um, and I'll show you the results of those in a second. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of documentation on how to set these, this configuration. So far, this is a really basic add-on. You can't really control any of the, the things in Neural Profit. But if you want to understand more about how Neural Profit works and have a look at their um, actual website, um, and there's some, uh, some good information here on them. Um, on the whole thing and, and what it does. Um, so there's a quick start guide here, for example, um, and there's a, a whole bunch of information um, on the on the different things, how to um, how to use all different features. Not much of this is supported at the moment. It's just loading the data in and running it. But my aim is to expand it and add it, you know, make it more complete integration for Home Assistant in the future. Um, not quite sure whether this website's not coming up properly. Ah, there we go. So this is the landing page for it. Explainable forecasting at scale. Um, okay, um, and then what you can do is you can chart your predictions afterwards. So here I've got a chart which I'm using the Apex charts, which is an add-in um, uh, integration for Home Assistant. Um, it's a, what you need to, to add in um, to make this one work. Um, so if you um, if you search for um, Apex charts Home Assistant, then you'll see it's here. This is a really good one. It does all the loads of charting, so I'd recommend that for anybody who hasn't got it. Um, and and then this chart code here is essentially going to plot the value of the sensor that we're predicting against, which is the load today, and then it's going to plot the prediction that the tool has generated. And this. This little data generator here is a bit, I cut and paste this from somewhere else, um, but essentially what it does is it takes an attribute in that sensor, which is called results. So the sensor name is the entity, attributes, results, and it unpacks this. It's essentially um, a, an, a um, set of key value pairs. It sorts them by date, time, order, and then returns them as this sorted array which is used to be plotted. So you just cut and paste that code for, so this is only for future data, not historical. If it's historical data, you don't put that in and you get the history. 
Um, and then I've plotted also what they call attribute source, which is essentially what went into Pred AI. It just outputs it again through NeuroProfit to say this was data that was used and this is the results that you get. Um, so then if I go and have a look at Home Assistant, you can see this charts live here. Um, so I've plotted the original load, the AI predictions of the load and the source data, which is, should be the same as the original load. So if I just take one at a time, what you'll see here. So here's the AI load. So this is a prediction of my house load. Forget the fact it doesn't reset here. It's only because the resets are in the past and that's midnight and it's projecting forward without the resets. So something I could change in the future. It doesn't really matter in this case. Um, and then the, the original load, this is what's happened in the past. And you can see how well NeuroProfit fitted against it. And it's pretty well fitted. You can see this big spike here. Now this big spike is car charging. And so that car charging was actually removed from the data beforehand, which is why the AI load source is kind of important as well, because you can see what it actually used for the prediction. So these charts are a bit slow because there's a lot of data here. Um, the machine uh, is probably doing something else. But you can see not all the all the car charging was removed. I think that was because there was a glitch from my wall box and it didn't record one of the charges. But it's slightly skewed, but you can see the fit is generally fairly good from. Um, so I think this is going to be more useful when we can get more days data here, because currently we're just relying on the data in Home Assistant, which is normally only about 10 days. But um, what my mine's set to 30 days, so I have more. But what I'm going to do is integrate a database into this add-on so that we can record a whole year's worth and then we can have seasonality, for example. And you see another one here where I fitted the external temperature going forward. So you can see the the actual external temperature, which this isn't really actual. It's not something I've measured. It's come from one of the weather apps and it's come from a local weather station. It's probably quite accurate. And then the fitted curve here is kind of it's not fully following it. And that's because it's not a weather forecaster. Right? It's just trying to predict the curve. And you can see the predicted following days are you know, it's not as good as using a real weather forecast, don't, don't get me wrong, but it's just an example here. But you can use this to predict any sensors that you have access to. And now what I've done here is I've linked this into one of my other tools, PredBat, which is the home pred battery prediction tool. And so I've actually used the results of this load prediction inside the battery prediction tool here. So I said use this load only, and this sensor is the prediction one that's generated, and that's actually means that um, inside PredBat, my load prediction is actually based on this neural profit data rather than the historical load that I've been using. And I've just been playing around with that and see how it goes. <clears throat> and you can see I've plotted this on the in-day adjustment chart. So this is the AI load prediction. This is the actual. So we actually consumed less than it predicted, which is interesting. Um, but um, this is probably because it's kind of more averaged and this is a Sunday and I've been out and maybe not used as much energy as expected. Um, so um, anyway, we shall, um, uh, I'm going to see how this goes and maybe try and tweak it a bit um, in the future. So just look at how this data fed into the um, PredBat plan itself, you can see the load data here on the right, which is the estimations from the AI um, tool, um, which it's, it's worked out and it's brought into this tool. Anyway, this isn't about specific, but it's just one of the use cases. Um, <clears throat> so um, anyway, um, if you get a chance to have a play with the tool and, and feedback on, on what you think, um, like I said, my future plans include um, adding a database so we can have much more data than you would just keep in the normal home assistant. Um, and then a lot more ability to tweak the, um, the models according to all the sort of settings you can get in, in neural profit and that sort of thing. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully that's useful. Um, thanks very much.